After so many long, brutal years apart, Rick and Michonne Grimes have finally reunited and have successfully escaped the Civic Republic military together, the captors of Rick himself, as of Episode 4 of The Walking Dead, The Ones Who Live. For now, it really is so good to see their faces again after all this time. However, there's one face not many were thrilled to see, especially Rick. Our fates are bound. You, Michonne, me. That is the face of Warrant Officer Jada Stokes. She's had some extremely interesting character development over the course of three shows in this universe, and now we're finally seeing her as one of the main villains to Rick and Michonne, and their plans to get back to their family in Alexandria. Today in this video, I'm going to go over how we'll see Jadis transform into one of Rick's greatest enemies, how she'll hinder their plans to get back home, how she will ultimately be killed by Michonne in Episode 5, and where this show is going to go next following it. For a quick message before we begin, Again, make sure you subscribe to the channel for much more The Walking Dead content. I'm going to try to do weekly videos discussing and theorizing different plot points upon each episode's release. I know there's thousands of channels doing it, Movie Idol, TWD Explained, the PT channel, the thrifty typewriter, but I'll try to do my best to offer something unique and refreshing here on this channel. Episode 2 ended with Michonne being led into the Civic Republic under a fake story and the false identity of Dana. She was brought into consignment, as Rick was once, and had to earn her her citizenship into the Civic Republic of Philadelphia. During her interview process, Michonne was being recorded so her answers could be reviewed. As we learned, Jadis watched this interview tape, learning of Michonne now amongst their ranks. She was also aware of Michonne's katana that was left with Nat's body, framing him as the one who murdered all the frontliners and Donald Okafor. A moment of silence for Nat, he was terrific. So Jadis confronts Rick, and she says that she'd keep all this information off the books, seemingly protecting both him and Michonne. And Jadis remarks that this doesn't fall under their long-standing deal. Many have questioned what this deal may be, and we the audience still don't know yet, but it's safe to assume we'll find out in episode 5 or possibly the finale, and I'll get to that in a second. We can accurately theorize that this deal consists of not getting in contact with their former communities such as Alexandria, and leaving the past is just that the past. In episode 1, we saw Rick burn all the letters and drawings he had for Michonne, trying to let go of the past and move on with his certain future as a soldier for the CRM, no chance of escaping ahead of him. Jadis, alongside Rick, is in a predicament where she needs to also leave the past behind, and most importantly, not have it come up. Throughout seasons 7, 8, and 9, Jadis was known to be cunning, sneaky, and very slippery. It wasn't until season 9 where we learned her name is truly Anne, and she went on to form a romantic relationship with Gabriel. <sighs> I try to leave that memory as the past myself. And when she got into the CRM, trading Rick to them, designating him as a B, she was granted an entirely new life. She started going back under the name of Jadis and adopted Gabriel's last name, Stokes, and worked her way up the military ranks to the point of being a warrant officer. Jadis is someone who has power, but she's a liar, something the CRM probably wouldn't tolerate. Her deal with Rick would be that as long as he keeps her secrets, she'll keep his about Alexandria and everyone he loves. We know this because she directly threatened all of them, saying that if he tries to escape with Michonne, she'll kill them all, even the ones that she likes. Back in episode 1 again, Donald Okafor also threatened to find Michonne and their community since he found the letter Rick had written to them in the season 11 finale. When Rick was making Michonne surrender to the CRM, he was begging her to come up with false information about herself so they wouldn't link them together, going as far as to tell her to pick a different name for walkers since that's what he calls them. With Jadis knowing everything about the two, and how to get back home, she is instantly one of the most dangerous people to Alexandria's safety. This also stands true as she has a failsafe in place where if she were to die, among her personal belongings the CRM would collect, is something that tells the truth behind Rick and Michonne and where they're from. She revealed this to Rick in episode 3, making it seemingly impossible to kill her since again, the CRM would learn of everything possible. So what now? How does Rick and Michonne possibly ever escape the clutches of the military and reunite with everyone? One, or will they be forced to continue their lives at the CR? Well, episode 5 is going to give us that answer one way or another. Currently, Rick and Michonne are completely free. Their helicopter they jumped from crashed and was blown up, making it seem like they were killed, which would give the CRM enough reason to assume so. 
except for Jadis. She knows the two of them can do anything together, so in episode 5, she's on the search for them. And somehow, as we learned in the show's trailer, she does find them, and there is a car chase featuring the Nissan truck from episode 4. Wherever this place is, she is lurking inside of it, and she may just be this hooded figure. Regarding this mystery person, don't get your hopes up, it's probably not Morgan or Silas or someone like that. So inside this place, we do know Jadis attacks the duo. It seems she also rams into their truck at some point, forcing Michonne out of it and to fend off a bunch of walkers. This chase scene probably happens towards the beginning of the episode, and this chase we've seen in the trailer leads to the truck wrecking. Rick and Michonne get away, find this cabin, however Jadis is still on the hunt, most likely now wanting to kill them to protect the secrecy of the CRP and the CRM. But can she put up a solid fight against two of the most powerful people in the Walking Dead universe? No. Without a doubt, Jadis won't survive this. This will be her final battle, her final effort to stop them. Ultimately, it will end with her death. For everything that has been set up, I do think Michonne will be the one to kill Jadis. In episode 3, Jadis was really up in Rick's face, asking him if he wanted to kill her, and even suggested doing it while they were face to face. Of course, Rick couldn't do that, it would unleash catastrophe upon everything he's been trying to protect. Now with Michonne, I feel like she's just itching to kill Jadis a lot more than Rick. Rick was fundamentally broken to his core and gave in to the CRM, although with a hope to one day change things. Taking Jadis out would have slowly drifted off his radar after years and years. Michonne has been tormented as well. Jadis took something from her. Since embarking on this journey, Michonne has been doing absolutely anything to find her husband and be reunited with him. If Jadis is going to try and deny her of getting home with him, she's in for a rude awakening. So let's say in episode 5 that Jadis is killed by the end. How does the final episode conclude this epic love story? As far as we know, this is still a limited series with just one season, six episodes, meaning killing off Jadis will be the tipping point to bring us to this ending. With her gone, her file or whatever she got on Rick and Michonne will potentially be uncovered by the CRM, meaning they'll know they killed her, they escaped with all the secrets of the CRM, and they're going to be the first people to ever do so. In order to prevent this, the duo has no choice but to go back to the Civic Republic find and destroy all of this information. There's still a lot of unfinished plot lines involving the Civic Republic military, especially with characters like Thorn, Beale, and the upcoming leadership summit that's been talked about a whole lot. We're also still yet to know what the Echelon briefing is, and how Rick gets the red stripes on his uniform. This essentially proves they go back. When the two of them inevitably do, the big climax of the finale of the show will be centered around their final escape and attempting to take the military down. Now, it's important to note that no, they won't actually take it down. Thorn mentioned they have 17,000 military personnel, so yeah, that's not going to happen. But something big will happen, and will most likely involve the Leadership Summit, where a ton of big figures with the military and politicians will be present. If any more big deaths of this show's new characters will take place, as in Pearl Thorn, Beale, whoever else, it would take place during this climax. The Civic Republic military itself will still stand and will probably remain as a looming threat in this universe, but this act from Rick and Michonne is what will lead to their escape. That is assuming they'll escape together, because I do have suspicions that this is all too easy. I'm going to make a separate video after episode 5 airs going on how I think this show will end exactly, but there will most likely be some sort of major twist or even twist ending. Everything so far has just been a little too easy. Besides the years apart, Rick and Michonne found each other very coincidentally. I mean, the apocalyptic United States is massive, and to find just one missing person who could be anywhere in that country, and who may not even be alive, is extremely difficult. I know, it's fiction, I'm perfectly fine with how they found each other, but everything just can't be that simple. They jumped out of a helicopter, not only survived the fall, but that same helicopter went on to crash anyway, saving their lives. Assumed dead, they got out of the area, completely undetected, and now on their way home. Something is going to have to happen to throw a curveball into all of this and fundamentally dismantle their plans in hopes of getting back to Alexandria. There's many different ways this show could end, and I have heard rumors online that say multiple endings were filmed to avoid spoilers, so this is something that's completely up in the air and we won't really have many clues on 
what the finale could even be like or include until episode 5 airs and we see the episode 6 teaser. Either way, it's gonna have to be crazy. We've been waiting since 2018 to see Rick back on screen, therefore if this is a limited series meant to end their stories, as it has been promoted, then it's gonna need to be crazy, explosive, and give us closure. And that's gonna bring us to the end of today's video. Comment below what you think on these theories, and if you think we'll see Jadis be killed, who you think will kill her, and what the major twist ending could be. Also, let me know if you think this hooded character is anyone important from the Walking Dead universe, since we do know that at least someone will show up. If you enjoyed this video, please leave a like and subscribe for much more The Walking Dead content. I'll have a new video out on Monday, the day after episode 5 airs, and you won't want to miss that one. Thanks everyone for watching, stay safe, and have a great day.